So what is Flask and how do you use it? Well, let's look at the official documentation here. You can see a minimal Flask application is very small. For example, this application says from Flask import Flask and I define the application and put a route. So this route is where the URLs are created. And inside of here, encapsulated is the logic. So let's go ahead and take a look at a real world Flask application. So here's a, a code space in GitHub. And inside this code space, you can see all of the logic for a Flask application, right? And so uh, it's pretty small here. Uh, I say from Flask, import Flask. Uh, I define this app. So that's really the boilerplate code. And then here's the hello world route. And so inside of here, I can print debugging messages. Uh, and I also will return back a message. Now, if I want to do something slightly more complex, which is in the real world, typically what you want to do, uh, I could accept parameters. And so here's how you do that in Flask. I put in these brackets here around this uh, parameter, and then I capture it inside the function. So this name matches to this name. And then when I echo this out here, I say return hello, it will echo out whatever name I put. The only other thing that's important to know about is this last block here, line 16 and line 17. I say if under under name equals uh, main, and this is a shortcut that tells your Python code if it's run as a script, uh, here's some things to do. So inside I say app, right? So this goes back to this line two, and I tell it to run on port uh, 8080 on 127.0.0.1, which is the local host. And then I also have debugging setup. So how do we run this? Well, I can just run in Python hello, just like this. And this, if I have Flask installed, it'll run locally. And inside this uh, GitHub code space, I can actually open this up in the browser and test it out. Now, first I'll go through here and test out the slash route. Then I'll go to echo and test out that echo route. So first step here, great. We've got hello world that appears to be working. Now, if I go through and I put the echo here and I say echo, let's put Bob in there. There we go. So we see Bob uh, is working. What if we put Sally? Let's go ahead and put Sally. There we go. So you can see that I can uh, quickly build web services that are fully functional by using this uh, route based approach. Uh, and it's quite simple. This whole application is less than 20 lines of code and it fits in one block in your mind. So that's really the advantage of using a microservice like Flask.